How are you guys? This is Robert with PEHVAC today, and uh, we're having a call. Uh, we're replacing a furnace for a mobile home, and I wanted to show you guys uh, pretty much why is that sometimes we came across jobs that they're not doable or they require way more uh, way more labor, and that's why somehow you have to price them because uh, price them higher because they require so much more work. But the actual bottom line of that work is um, the safety for the customers. And I'm about to show you that. Hopefully you guys take a minute to watch this video. And uh, don't forget to hit uh, the like button and subscribe to our channel. Uh, look us up as PEHVAC. Stands for Plumbing, Electrical, Heating and Air Conditioning. And let's take a look at this. So we have this mobile home. Uh, central heating back in the days we didn't really care about efficiency this is our furnace that we had this is the baby that we're gonna install and we have an upflow unit and pretty much uh, our concern is the return air because uh, we want to make sure that the unit is recycling his own air and not grabbing air from anywhere else why is that well um, this house is gonna have a ventilation uh, all around the house so let's just talk about having a car parking in this driveway, just like we have our truck right here. The carbon monoxide emissions being pulled by this vehicle, if we don't have a, a return that draws air 100% fresh air from indoors, what's gonna happen is that we're gonna be pulling carbon monoxide emissions from that car into our indoor air, and that's a safety hazard. Now, somehow, this is not a register, but they put these bricks right here, and as you can see, we have all of those openings from right there, uh, which tells me that there's air being pulled from here and from the return. How do I know? Well, let's about to see that. As you can see, we only have a section with the plenum, but all of the rest of the house is technically exposed. Um, so I know that I'm grabbing air from underneath the house, which make it way less efficient. So in order to make sure that I'm doing the right thing, I wanna make sure that I'm recycling the air that I'm gonna be blowing inside. And I need to make sure that uh, that is fresh air uh, from indoors and that I'm not gonna be bringing any smells, any debris, any trash from underneath the house. Uh, and it's just gonna be air, 100% fresh air, indoor quality for for our uh, return air. How am I gonna do that? Well, this is the plan that we have. Technically, we're gonna make an opening right here. Not every house is uh, doable because of these conditions, but we added this little cabinet in here. And what we're gonna do, it's expose that side, create a platform return right in here. This one is gonna be obsolete, so we're not gonna need that anymore because it's not 100% fresh air. And we're gonna put a filter drill in here. So the unit is gonna be sucking air through here and uh, it's just gonna be from indoors, just as long as this door is closed. So let's see how that comes out and we'll go from there. So, so now with this return, uh, our unit is just gonna be sucking 100% fresh air from indoors. So this is our new return that we just did for this uh, mobile home unit. And pretty much this is the outcome. 